the kid from Modern Family was giving me the the eyes, and I was like, what the heck? I pray he does not see this. I pray he doesn't see this, because he'll see me and he'll be like, oh my god, I love her. Oh my god. Ready. Steady. Welcome to Wine About It. Goey. Oh, I don't know if we were recording. I said ready, oh. steady, and then I said goey. I didn't just say goey. Just so you know. Welcome to Wine About It. Welcome to Wine About It. <laughs> Welcome to Wine Welcome About It. Welcome, about Welcome back it. to the YouTube episode. Today we have a little drinky drink. Cutie has a freaking gallon of water, and I have a normal size bottle. What are you doing? Have you seen like the water propaganda lately? Are people telling us to hydrate? Dude, it's the no. pipeline. Oh. Dude, I do think I'm in the pipeline a little bit. Everyone on like TikTok and stuff, they're like, if you're not adding salt or minerals to your water, you're gonna die. And I'm like, oh, oh it's like not actually hydrating you. Yeah. I've and I'm that. like, okay. Wait, I have seen that. I saw a TikTok of someone that was like this girl just drinking straight spring water, like from a creek. And she was yeah. like, if you're not drinking this, you're not actually hydrating. And I was like, you're going to get Giardia. <laughs> yeah, I think she's like, going to get that? sick for sure. But it does stress me out. And then I've been pulled into the castor oil propaganda. Castor oil comes from a beaver's butt. Did you know that? That's sad. Yeah. I didn't know that. It's not vegan. Mm -mm. Wow. Castor oil... Well, Virgin. that's bad. This is bad for oh, beavers because it's being pumped out like crazy. <laughs> Did I just blatantly lie? It oh my says, God, you spread propaganda. <laughs> this says it comes from the seeds of a plant, which is native to tropical areas of Africa and Asia. Wait, what comes from a beaver's butt? Not castor oil. Oil <laughs> from beaver butt. Castorium. Oh, that was close. All right. I don't really know what I'm talking about anymore. It's castor oil is supposed to be good for hair growth. I don't know about it as a commodity, clearly. Well, people have started like putting it around their tummies and it helps them de blow or like putting it on their breasts seems... and it, it gets rid of lumps. And I'm like, no, if if castor oil no gets way. rid of lumps, then breast cancer would have been cured years ago. Like, what are you guys talking no way about? That's the lumps that they're talking about. There's Dude, no way it like topically cures. That, I'm not lumps. kidding you. I'm getting sent down the castor oil pipeline propaganda. I I don't. There's gonna be people in our comments too. They're gonna be like, yes, it does. It gets rid of. It gets rid of cellulite. It gets rid of. Is there, is there, is, is, apparently it's a cure all. So it's huge. Dude, we're newly aware. Wait, actually, I, I have to show you the intro for this podcast. I unironically listened to a podcast this morning, and this was the intro, and I just thought it was funny. It's called Stuff They Don't Want You to Know. Uh-oh. Is it <laughs> about castor exactly, oil? No, it's exactly... Oh, God, oh my God. Oh, my God. It's exactly what I was talking about uh, the other week. Your from out of nowhere. Joe, every morning. It's back to everything season on the today. It's an ad. Let's face it. Dude, how many ads do they have? I don't know. They've, they're rich. Why don't we do this? We don't have any. From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Oh it's exactly what I was talking oh about, but it was a pretty good podcast, to be honest. Pretty good. I'm stressed about the stuff they don't want us to know. I can't even remember the stuff they do want us to know. Um, I only organic, have such a capacity. Organic foods and vaccines and castor oil. Castor oil and mineral water. Get and your castor oil. No birth control. <sighs> anyway. Sorry about all those ads that we didn't get paid for. Yeah, what the heck? That was dumb as hell. You should probably cut that out. <laughs> eh, whatever. Mute them. Whatever, it's fine. Well, we've decided we're we're starting. It's September. We're starting Halloween early over here. Because I she love Halloween. I had a conversation last night that 
I don't actually know how we landed on this as a topic. Well, I know. Oh. Because, essentially, I met Ta Tana Mo Mojo yesterday. I met Tana Mojo, and we have similar vibes of a podcast, except for they actually go out and do things. But by similar vibes, I mean a blonde and a brunette that talk shit, except for yeah. Maya and I are too afraid to talk shit now. Yeah. So we don't do that. But they yeah. talk a lot and of shit. And we're less famous and less hot. And we're less famous <laughs> and we're less hot. And uh, they're like younger than us. And are they? Uh, I don't know. Tana, how old are you again? You're 25, right? I'm 25. I don't know how old Brooke is. Tana's 25. I don't know how old Brooke is. Um, but I just lumped us together. So you're oh. welcome. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I was like, listen, she's had a bad, she as in me, has had a bad mental health week again. And I'm over sharing Classic. it with you guys. I'm over it. Um, it comes in waves and currently we're in a, in a bad one and I don't want to talk about it with the internet right now and that's okay. And so then I was like, Maya, what, what do you have this week? And Maya was like, I don't leave my house. And I was like, great. And so no, actually I said something very similar. I was like, all of the interesting stuff that happens in our lives, we don't want to talk about because we are scared and we don't want drama. So. We're left Why are we nothing. afraid? We're so afraid. Yes, yeah, so that's what makes us nothing. different than Tana and Brooke. Is Tana and Brooke are not afraid. Yeah, and we're cowards. <laughs> we're cowards. We're, we're terrified bad at podcasting. Okay, so we said we can't talk about anything interesting or anything drama related. What? It could still be interesting. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, we can't so, talk about anything interesting in our own lives. I well, I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about anything um, depressing. That's my big thing. Is I this is as, so depressing? Is it? Kinda. Is it what we're gonna talk about? I thought it was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I okay, think it's it interesting, interesting, not depressing. Anyway, okay. I, I'm very depressed, and so I don't want to talk about something depressing because then our, all of our commenters are like, "Girl, this podcast is so sad." You're depressed. And I'm like, I know. I'm, I'm, I can't just turn it off for a day. That's not how it works. If it does, I, I actually it used to work that way, but unfortunately, I lost that skill set. I don't know what happened. Um, but long story short, I was like, we should start Halloween episodes and talk about spooky things. And then I recently uh, watched a TikTok about cannibals. And so, cannibals are what we're talking about today. <laughs> Yeah, Thanks, and then we're like, all right, we'll do an episode on cannibalism. You know, you take Dahmer, I'll take the Donner party, and we'll we'll go from there. Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. So I I mean, I deep dove this morning. I, I got, I learned, I know more about cannibals than I've ever known in my life now. I did not deep dive because okay. <laughs> for, I thought we were filming tonight on accident. It was yeah. uh, so kind of silly on my part. Um um i just got a sorry i got distracted because i my discord notif should be muted when i'm filming but for some reason they're not and i got a ping from a friend of a friend that was at my comedy show forever ago and they said that it was amazing it's wow random. that's so nice it is really nice too bad i don't have the bandwidth to be interested in it anymore oh. um anyway Depressing. i I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you start us off about why you are now a cannibal. Now, why okay. you eat people? Yuck. Um. Well. Okay. Also, I watched Silence of the Lambs last night for the first time. Um. I guess. It oh, was that's good. what it's called. I was like, Maya, you should watch Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, and I was looking it up, and I was like, I don't know what this. Is. There's a series that's like called Hannibal, I think. But I watched. Oh. The first Silence of the Lambs. Um. It was a good movie, but it had way less cannibalism than I expected because it's like about Hannibal Lecter. Um, it wasn't that cannibal heavy. Anyway, um, why I've decided I'm now a cannibal is because, uh, in a lot of cases, it's actually <laughs> because people not say as... it tastes good. <laughs> no, people don't say that, actually. Oh. Um, <laughs> it seems the consensus is not very good. But in a lot of cases, it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> you can't I... say that. <laughs> yes, I can. I... 
There are lots of different types of cannibalism is what I've learned, okay? And when you think cannibalism, you probably think, like, murder, eat someone, which, like, does happen. Pathological cannibalism is a thing, and that's a problem. That is a no-no. I'm not saying that that's not bad. But there's also, like, cannibalism in survival situations. Very common. Like, has happened a lot of times. Right? Uh-huh. Would you eat me if we were on a boat I don't, and I you wouldn't had to survive? I wouldn't want to. Why? If, if you died, okay. you died, but naturally. A seagull hit you in the head and you died. Okay, if I, well, first of all, that would not kill me. If I died of starvation, though, turns out it actually probably wouldn't help you that much. If you try to eat someone that died of starvation, there's, like, very little nutrients in there, so. Yeah, so how, I have to kill you. So you'd have to kill, yeah, when there's still, like, fat on Uh, the Uh, and you'd taste gross. Okay, it's really mean. (laughs) So, sailors at sea have eaten each other. Apparently, that's where the, you ever heard the phrase, like, draw the short straw, or draw the short stick? Yeah. I think that's where that comes from. Why? It's like at sea, they would like draw sticks and like whoever gets the shortest one is the one that would be eaten. No way. That's Murdered such and a, eaten. That is such a dramatic. <laughs> it is really dramatic. How else are you going to decide? What are you just going to eat a mini mini moam? No. You draw sticks. What if the captain draws the short stick? Too bad. Oh. No captains anymore. Um, but yeah, people have eaten people at sea. There was a um, a plane crash. There's actually a movie based off it. I think it's called Alive. There's a plane crash in the Andes. Um, and it was in October of 1972. There are 45 passengers on it. Um, and they crashed into the Andes Mountains. Um, and it was like negative 30 degrees there. So mm-hmm. very, very cold. Um, and... They were stranded there for, like, 72 days, and so there were 45 people at the beginning. Some of them died in the crash. Some of them died from an avalanche, uh, and then the rest of them, because their bodies were frozen, they were, like, preserved, and so they, they started eating the people that had died, and they made it uh, 72 days, and 16 of them were rescued. Jesus Yeah, it was like Christ. a... It was a rugby team. You know there's 16 people sitting around, and they're like, yo, so... Like, who's the person that initiates that conversation? Like, I yo. don't know. Passenger in 274, what are you guys thinking? Like, Yeah, and, like, how do you decide? And, like, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, point is, so you're like that's not that bad. So you're excusing <laughs> survival cannibalism. That should only happen pretty I rarely. Think it's, yeah, yeah, and I think it would be messed up if you killed someone to eat them at, like, early on in a survival scenario. But if you're, like, going to starve to death, and it's like eat someone or starve like i i kind of get it you know what i mean you are <laughs> is that not that cra- is that crazy a cannibalist uh forgiver what's it called what apologist <laughs> apologist yeah you're a cannibalist I feel apologist like, i feel like that's fine okay that's my one instance of like i don't know it's fine it's, like, weird it's not that great you're even clarifying though you don't have to go into a conversation being like we're talking about cannibals today by the way i forgive these guys Okay, Those well, guys I have aren't more. watching right now. <laughs> I have, have more, more people that I to forgive. forgive. <laughs> yeah. More, I have more cannibals that I would kind of for. It's not even there's not something to forgive. I just feel like it's fine, um, because it, it's still <laughs> it still happens. Um, there's still cannibalism that happens. There's ritualistic cannibalism that happens. There are tribes in the Amazon, um, and in uh, I think Indonesia and New Guinea, um. And they'll they'll do ritualistic cannibalism, but only after death, like post mortem. So if their family members die, um, they'll have like a whole ceremony, and then family members will eat parts of that person. And they think that if you consume that person, then they're part of you for the rest of your life. So you like keep prolonging everybody's lives, as opposed to them being completely intact and intact, and then walking alone as a spirit. That's kind which. Of- that's kind of cute. It's kind of nice, right? Like, and it, cute. if it happens after death, like, you know, it, not after death. Okay, if you murdered them and it's after death, then it's not cool. Not but cool. like, if they die and then you do it, like they die of natural causes and then you eat them, like, I, especially for that reason, I feel like it's fine. Is that so? Is that crazy? <laughs> I'm trying to decide. <laughs> I think if it is like, okay, if, if if this is like a generational belief and celebration, it's fine. 
But if like Martha and Steven next door decide to start doing it on a Tuesday, it's not fine. Okay. Like you all of a sudden can't eat your sister because you think it's cute. What if she says it's fine? No. Then it's not fine. You can't. It's not fine. What if she like wants you to do that? It's not fine. Okay. You should you should you should take her out sooner. Should take her take out. Take her out. Take her out to the pasture. Oh. Oh. Take, take her out. Her out. Um yeah. Okay, interesting segue. Have you ever heard about that guy in Oh, when was it? I feel like it was 2000 2001. There were, there were people Maybe you're going to bring it up. Never mind. You continue. Go. The guy Is in it Germany. Is like the, the food tours? No. So there's like this there there's supposedly i don't know how much this is real or true and someone in the comments is definitely going to correct us because they always do um is there's like this like you know exotic eating club and they go on trips together and they go eat ostrich and then they go try lion and they try they like eat i hate them but eventually they run out of exotic animals to eat and then they uh you know the the beacon of this like eating club is human and eventually they do they like get black market human meat and eat it that's not chill i'm not okay with that yeah okay well, black market human meat is not good okay not it's f on the tier list yes that's okay not okay okay um but eating your boy's meat is number one get it You've been living with a boy way too long. Yeah. <laughs> that was gross. <laughs> I have no friends here. <laughs> um, you said if my sister was like, yes, I want you to eat me, that it would not be okay. I want yeah. you to cannibalize me, and I did it, then I would be wrong. You would be weird. Weird. Bad. Yeah. Okay. This is the weirdest episode we've ever done. <laughs> um, okay, so in 2001... There was a, a German guy. Uh, I'm going to mispronounce his name right now. Um, it was Say Armin. It with an accent. No, I don't even know how. Armin Muse. Armin Muse. Anyway, uh, in 2001, he posted, we'll put it on screen. He posted, um, it's in our topics in Discord if you want to look at it, uh, on an internet forum, an ad that he was looking for a young man between 18 and 25 years old. Um, and that he wanted to essentially like hook up with and eat him. Right? What? So be like Yeah. He was advertising that he wanted to eat him? Yeah. Like on like a fetish board online. Who who, <laughs> who is accepting that? A man where, did. Where is this? It's the the black screenshot. Okay. There's a bunch of screenshots in here. Posted by this Frankie. Posted by that was Frankie. His username. Yeah. Clever username. I search a young. I search a young boy. That's my German. <laughs> That's my awful. grandpa would be so mad at me right now. <laughs> my very German family. I search a young boy between eighteen and twenty-five year old. Have you have you a normal body? I butchering you and eat your horny flesh, <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> wow. this is a I such a young boy. Um. So yeah. he posted that ad, and someone responded. Um. A man responded. I don't remember his name. Sorry. Um. But it looks like there's three replies. Someone from Carl. Someone from. <laughs> Frankie replied, and then Brit replied. I didn't see that. You think what? that's our Brit? <laughs> oh my god, Brit! Uh, she was like, "I got a boy you can eat." <laughs> it, um, so someone replied, and they like set it up right, and they meet up. They go to the pharmacy together. They pick up a bunch of pain pills. They have. Um, he takes a ton of pain kills and drinks a bunch of alcohol. Um, the whole thing is recorded. I. I, I don't think the recordings are, like, anywhere that you can find. Not that you should try. I obviously didn't see them, but I saw quotes uh -huh. from them. Um, so the whole thing was recorded, and it's a really crazy case because it's a consenting adult. 
Um, so like, and it's like a fetish. So they meet up, he takes a bunch of pain pills, he drinks a bunch of alcohol, and then Armin cuts off his penis and cooks it, and then they eat it together. <laughs> they eat it together, but the guy that responded to the ad apparently didn't really like it. Not that that matters that much. But what? then he was like super not doing okay physically. So yeah, he it's, got- It's just got chopped off. Yeah, and he's, like, you know, major blood loss, like, just consumed his own piss, so, like, he's just, like, not doing good. And then, um, he went to take a bath at this guy's house, so he, like, ran a bath for him, which, by the way, if you're experiencing major blood loss, like, don't get in a tub of if hot water. If your piss has been cut off, don't get don't, in a bathtub. Don't do that, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then... That's called the sous-vide. <laughs> So he got in this bathtub, and then Armin, uh, he was dying. I think he yeah. lost consciousness in the bathtub, and then Armin slit his throat and killed him. But, like, he knew the guy he was gonna knew die. that he, yeah, it's like he was like, do it, you know? Like, like in so the recording, he, like, went, wait, so, was the guy also horny for this? Yeah, they both were. It's like, it was, that he sucks. responded to the it's ad, like and he was like... The difference between like being a top and a bottom, like an eater or an eaten, in this yeah, fetish, yeah, it's like really extreme, and you can yeah. do it one time. Yeah, it sucks yeah. if you are born and eaten, and you're just craving. You're you're so horny to be eaten. Yeah, it does suck for because I guy. bet it doesn't feel good when it happens. <clears throat> like they build it up in their head, like ooh, I'm gonna be chomped on, yum yum yum, but then they are don't they're dead. I mean, yeah, I have no idea what it felt like when they were both eating it together. Maybe it is like what he always fantasized. They should have about. started with like a finger or something. Also, if like a flaccid. Have... I wonder. I wonder when you cook a penis when it's hard, if it loses its, if it, it goes definitely flaccid. Definitely does because it's just blood. Because the blood just comes out, and so there's yeah. actually if it goes flaccid, there's like not that much to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah details <laughs> so the guy dies um because he slits his throat so he's dead and then armin uh butchers him like and he butchered puts him in the his, freezer. his horny flesh yeah yeah and he was not caught for 13 months like even though and the only reason he was caught is because he had conti he continued posting on this internet forum so like the yeah, I mean, it re that really like deep dark community kind of knew what was going on and I guess caught wind that like he actually did it. And so then they reported him um and the police went and found him. He had consumed like 45 pounds of this man over the course of the 13 months of his flesh. Wow. I have a question for reference. When you like at McDonald's, when they sell like a quarter pounder, it is a quarter pound of beef, right? In the well, body. I don't know if necessarily at McDonald's, but that's what it's supposed to be, yeah. So 45 pounds, if you use that as a reference, is like so much. Uh, no. Huh? No, it's not. Because like a two chicken breasts is like one pound. Like if okay, I'm... Okay, well, if you're thinking... <laughs> It still seems like a lot of human flesh to like, consume. Well, like, for 13 months, you know, like, if I'm, like, ordering groceries for me and Ludwig, we need a pound of chicken for the two of us. Okay. <laughs> so, like, you know, he, he actually was, like, he, like, spread it out a bit. Okay, good for him. He's savoring it. He was, um, he was frugal about it. So, he... He was caught 13 months later. He was tried, but because it was all recorded and the, the man, like, consented on video to it happening, um, he was only given eight years and six months. In 2004, he was convicted of manslaughter. Not even murder. Um, so he was given eight years. But Wait, then, what's the difference between manslaughter and murder? I think manslaughter is, like, by accident. Hmm. Huh. Manslaughter is the crime of killing a human being without malice or otherwise in circumstances not amounting to murder. 
So it's just not as bad. Weird. Yeah. So he's convicted of manslaughter, but then everyone was so mad. And he was convicted of manslaughter also because there was no laws against cannibalism. Because it, there had never been, like, a precedent set for it. Because everyone, I guess, just assumes that you can't do yeah, that. Yeah, everyone assumes it's bad. Yeah. Um. But then everyone was so mad that he only got eight years that he was retried in 2005. And then he was sentenced to life in prison. Oh. In 2006. That is so interesting since the person consented. It is very interesting. But it's kind yeah. of that whole like euthanasia argument where it's like <coughs> assisted suicide. Yeah. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's a whole thing. That was in 2001. That's not that long ago. That's 22 years ago. That's not that long ago. That's some college girl right now singing Taylor Swift. 22. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Who doesn't have the trauma of 9-11. Yeah. Or this. She missed or the, this. Yeah, she missed this happening. That's... Um, some of our podcasts were probably... Or some of our listeners were probably born in that year. Wow. Dude. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I... That is That is a very interesting case. It is crazy. Fetishes are crazy. Oh, by the way, remember how you told me to look at that actor? Um, uh huh. What's his name? Uh, Army Hammer. Army Army Hammer. Yeah, Cutie told me to look up this actor because apparently he was canceled for being a cannibal, um, or that's that's what people remember him as. Uh, turns out he was canceled because there were multiple accusations of assault, uh, and they said that he had a cannibalism fetish, but he never did anything. Except for, like, suck on their fingers when they had a cut. Ew. And then he said, one of the women said he was 100% serious about getting a doctor to remove her bottom ribs so that he could eat them. He was telling me you can remove the bottom ribs so he could smoke them, cook them, and eat them. He kept saying, you don't need them, she told the magazine. So, like, he didn't actually cannibalize anyone. He just, like, they think that he had a fetish for it. Dude, what a curse. What, what a curse having fetish. that fetish. <laughs> yeah. Bro, what are you supposed to like? Okay, 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 okay. Listen, fetishes are weird. I feel like sometimes you can't choose them. I think you're just born with them. And so now I'm a fetishist apologist. Like people <laughs> into feet. At least For they why? have accessible feet. People into armpits. They have accessible armpits. People into car tailpipes you've got there's tons of them out there it's so exciting for you but like cannibal how car do you tailpipes oh yeah baby like putting their dick in it yeah they're just way too big oh don't size shame them okay i just don't get that but um but like how do you Like, live research, pathology behind cannibalism. I just wonder if, like, okay, I'm a feet guy. I go on OnlyFans and I buy feet pics. Hot damn, I jerk off. I buy a rubber foot that I jerk off with. Like, I'm, I'm crazy with my feet fetish and I'm, I'm living my best life. I have a cannibal fetish. Do I, like, buy a sex doll but then put, like chicken fingers in her body so i can cut her open and eat the chicken fingers or something you know like i just wonder them, like safe outlets yeah i'm trying to give them fetish. safe alternatives for all the cannibals <laughs> watching so right nice now <laughs> i'm trying to give you safe alternatives to practice your fetish is from in clinical psychoanalytic theory cannibalistic impulses are associated with fixation at the oral biting phase of psychosexual development What, I don't Whatever know the that, hell that when does means. that happen. I don't know. I'm not. I don't remember having an oral biting phase of my psychosexual development. Yeah, I don't. I, rem <laughs> I like chomping. Yeah, there's there's a but lot would, of cases. I would immediately throw up if there was blood. Like if I if yeah, I she went, hates sauce. Yeah, that's human sauce. If I like went over to Ludwig and just like chomped his thigh and blood came out. Oh, <laughs> Okay, you would have to bite so hard for that to happen. I know, gnarly. but these people will probably do that every once in a while. 
there's a lot of cases of uh pathological cannibalism which is just like serial killers people that kill people and then eat them um i have my my i have a story all right are you guys enjoying our cannibal episode <laughs> creepy happy halloween happy halloween what are, what is what is poor ds mac has to title this thing what is, what is he <laughs> i have no idea uh it's, 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 hey say something dramatic so it can be i don't think cannibalism uh, is that bad <laughs> oh no maya doesn't think maya condones cannibalism no okay. i do not i i i condone some forms of cannibalism okay one second what 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 you could no okay i, I condone to... some survival cannibalism situations i just i feel i just do especially if they're already dead i don't know i feel like it's fine it would okay. be really hard to do but i feel like it's fine me shifty eyes like not sure if that's fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't think it's fine oh okay uh... in the comments do you guys think Alexander, that's fine? there's the, uh, so, so there's folklore. This is apparently folklore, and uh, allegedly this is the family that, like, you know, the movies The Hills Have Eyes. I know of it. Yeah. Yeah, I know of it. I actually have never watched it. I can't see scary movies. Um, apparently, this is loose. Like, they were loose inspiration for this. There's rumors saying that's true. There's rumors saying that it's not. There's also rumors that this family existed, and there's also rumors that they did not exist. So it's a little confusing. But essentially, there's this guy, Alexander Bean, uh, known as. No, <laughs> he can have the name of Bean. Uh, known as Sawney, Sawney Bean. Um, and he, he was, according to this, this London tabloid from the 18th and 19th century, that's what's so interesting is like a lot of folklore that happens like, like this, like for all we know, this, like that tabloid, the Newgate calendar could have been like actually reporting on this and been like, holy shit, can you believe it? And then like, you know, our historians find it and they're like, ah, they were telling spooky stories, you know, like, mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of folklore happens between like fact that then gets translated into this. That, Dude, that, and, like, imagine trying to write history books now that we've had social media or now that we have social media. Like imagine trying to be a historian and like going through Twitter and getting 110 different versions of the same story that all sound like different things. How do you know what actually happened? I don't know. And that sounds complicated. It sounds really complicated, but... A lot of historians say it's true, and a lot of histori historians say that it lacks sufficient evidence. So no one has any clue, apparently. But mm -hmm. uh, essentially, he he didn't come from like a, a well-off family. Like his dad was like a like a landscaper, like a, a a ditch a ditch what a ditch digger and a hedge trimmer. So he was okay. a landscaper. He was like my dad. No big deal. Cool. They're out there repping landscapers of the of the world. Um, and he tried to like he he Al, uh, Sonny tried to do his dad's job and was like, no, nah, this ain't for me. Um, but he fell in love with this woman named <laughs> named this is this is the least believable, believable thing. Her name was Black Angus Douglas, which is like no way <laughs> that is so. Yeah messed up yeah okay so what know. they called her black i don't know whatever continue i don't know i don't know yeah they called her black they called her they thought so... she was they thought she was a witch at one point they thought she was a witch okay. and he couldn't find a job and so they ran off and they like they like found a home like a lovely home in a cave and they were like we're going to live in this cave and they like treated this cave like a home True. now he was like trying to like impress his wife and and so at first he when people would walk by the cave he would like 
kill them and rob them and like give her the jewelry and the money and be like, oh yes, I'm so like, I'm so good for myself. But eventually like there's, he, you know, eventually there's only so much he could do before she caught on to what he was doing. But then good news for him. She was a homie and she was like, yeah, I'm She's in like, yeah, it. I'm game. Yeah, I'm game. So him. then they start kidnapping, robbing, and then eventually cannibalizing these people. Um, and the, the cave was super hidden because it was by the water. And so like the yeah. tide would hide it and all these things. So they, they went on for years. Uh, they had six daughters and eight sons. Wow, yeah, they're really in this cave doing it in the cave and they were feeding they were you know feeding their sons and stuff but then their six daughters and eight sons incestuously no had 14 granddaughters and 18 grandsons all right this did not happen i just want to throw that out there <laughs> this is insane this did not happen okay so people called them the bean clan oh my god what a terrible name and they were this thriving because they would just do these ambushes at night, murder, bring people back to their cave, eat them. They'd have discarded body parts in different ways of preserving them. Like, you know, like some treated for jerky, some treated for this, some treating you know, just all these different things. They were, they were just, they were just disgusting. Um, okay. And like back then, you know, like disappearances, you know, someone saying, oh, I'm walking to the next town over. There's no way to know if they made it for like months. Who knows? Maybe they decided to stay there. So disappearances were like much more, um, much harder to track. Uh, mm -hmm. But then due to like one bad outing, this is where there's two sides of the story. Some people say there was one bad hunt. Uh, other people say that the villagers finally noticed people missing. Um, one bad hunt, someone saw it or suspected it. And then they teamed up to go and find these the bean clan essentially okay um they they went out to find them and um oh wait actually here i'll just read this one verbatim one night the bean clan ambushed a married couple riding from from fair on one horse the man was skilled in combat so he held off the clan with a sword and pistol However, the Bean Clan unhorsed the wife and she fell to the ground. The woman in the Bean's group that night killed the wife, um, cutting her throat and sucking her blood. Um, before they could take the resilient husband, a large group of fair growers appeared on the trail and the Beans fled. The fair growers took the survivor to the local magistrate whom they informed of this experience. So that was the bad hunt. And then everyone was like, holy sh**. And so then uh, King James of Scotland was like, oh, we've got to get them. We've got to go. We've got to go find them. And so he takes his so army nice. of like 400. Oh, wow. Okay. And they go out there and they essentially take the entire, the entire bean clan and they burn the women alive and they um, disembowel the, the men in the same way that like they 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 did to others to other people and let them bleed to death um okay yeah so Terrible way to go yeah and then you know the army went through and found like thousands of different like skulls and like because these people have been existing for like 40 plus years in this cave i mean if they have grandkids and stuff like that then it's like you know um but it yeah it was uh that is like apparently what inspired like the hills have eyes the movie oh um there are claims that um one of the bean daughters escaped at one point uh like early on and that she lived like separately and so she was never really like a part of the clan um but then when they found they eventually figured out that it was her um and they they hung her from a tree that's now known as the hairy tree. Jeez. I don't know why, but yeah. So there's like a lot, it's a lot of folklore. It's a lot of creepiness. Uh, I guess apparently when they like went through the cave, they like found like old like family heirlooms from like a bunch of different like people in the like village or whatever. And like, and just like yeah. so much gold. And it's just like, it's funny cause they don't need gold if they're not buying anything, if they're just eating humans. Yeah. 
That is a crazy story. Crazy folklore. Crazy but folklore. But it might be real. Who knows? Who knows? Someone in the comments definitely know. Uh, Should I read back? back? Oh. No. We had to take a quick cut because I had therapy. And so I did that. And I'm back. Welcome back. Better than ever, baby. Uh, we're jumping back in, though. Pretend nothing happened. You didn't see this. Maya, what were you saying? <laughs> I was giving a shout out to Stuff You Should Know podcast because a lot of times when I do these deep dives, I listen to their podcast and bring a lot of that information over here. They do a really good job. They're already super famous. So, like, you guys already probably know what that is. But, um, we could be Stuff You Should Know podcast. I don't know. They're pretty good at it and they're oh, pretty really? smart and pretty, they really? read a lot. <laughs> Do you think they just research a lot and they just know a lot about nuanced things? Yeah. I think every week they have like a topic and then they just try their best to become experts oh, in that God. topic. Yeah. We could do that. It's like what we do, except they're smarter. Way better. Yeah, I'm better okay, at it. Great. Well, guys, you know what? Stop watching this podcast. Go and watch theirs. On our break, Go watch theirs right you want to hear something? It's actually probably going to make you really upset. Uh oh. You want to hear yeah. something that happened when we were taking our break? Yeah. Um, I found a worm in my salmon, and it was like definitely dead because, um, the salmon was frozen before, and then uh cooked so it doesn't really matter but i just sent it look at it <gasps> yeah apparently it's really common and it doesn't matter sure it's a worm and not a bone it's a nematode it's oh, not a bone no it's like wiggly as hell i was playing with it it's dead though ew yeah but it's harmless because uh it's been frozen and cooked in an oven so it's dead dead so it can't do anything you know like the the Actually, some of the castor oil propaganda pipeline I was on last night was like giving me tips about how I need to eat sprouted pumpkin seeds because parasites hate those. And I was like, okay. Sprouted pumpkin seeds. That sounds seeds. delightful. Yeah. Does it sound delightful? Sure. Okay. I like pumpkin seeds. Okay. I'll get the parasites. Get the parasites out of your body. Oh, there you go. I um, didn't know they're out. By the way, I had. Oh, what? No, quick shout out. If you guys uh, want to eat sustainable seafood, check out Monterey Bay Seafood Watch. Just throwing that out there. They are not the ones with worms. I think any sal I think any seafood can have nematodes. <laughs> like any salmon could have worms in it. Wait, now I never want to eat salmon. I'm sorry. It was it was kind of I love bugs, but this one was kind of like I was I was like, oh. Bummer. Yeah. It was a bummer one, because if it was alive, it could have loved your tummy. Could have been cool. You probably passed a nematode. I don't know if humans can... I don't know if it would become a problem. I had a weird poop this week, and I thought there was a worm in it. Oh, you didn't tell me I about the really worm. I got really scared. I know. Well, I, was in, I didn't get graphic with you. But anyway, I think I'm dying. You could have told me you it thought wasn't there was a worm, worm in it. What? Why? You would have been like, oh, that's cool. Elaborate. Well, I don't know. I mean, you went as far as to, like, tell me about the poop, but then didn't tell me why it was weird. It was weird. I had weird poop. Something was weird about it, and now I keep having weird poop, and that's why I think I'm dying. But I hope I'm not, because I really don't want to die. I really don't. You'll be okay. <laughs> you will be okay. Weird poop does anyway, not equal there was definitely death. Not a worm in it. There wasn't a worm in it. Good. It was just weird, and it's been weird. Saved. Easy. I, I think I would for sure know if there was a worm in it. It was just gross, but I'm not going to do that because people who watch this podcast, they do it because they think I'm hot and they want to date me. And if they learn about my poop, they won't. Damn it. So yeah. you, just, you just told them about your poop. I know, but I didn't go into enough detail that now they think I'm gross. They think I'm, I, they think I'm a guy's girl right now. Ew. Because <laughs> I poo. Ew. <laughs> Dude. I know we were talking about cannibalism and stuff, and this is a bit of a crazy jump over topic, but cannibalism uh, I have, poop. we have a, no, we have a 10 minute Taylor talk as in not Taylor Swift, Taylor, my assistant who everybody loves. Yeah. Um, she's got the best dating life stories because she is a perpetually single. Yeah. Unfortunately, she deserves love. Randomly. I texted her the other day. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on this. Does she know you're talking about this? <laughs> 
she's fine okay yeah, yeah she's she's told me before she's like you can use any of my podcasts your my stories on the podcast i'm like okay thank you because maya and i are both spinsters what's a spinster our vaginas have cobwebs in them because we're not out there slaying pipe and getting laid on the weekends audio listeners i'm appalled <laughs> How did she know? <laughs> what the hell? Just okay. Kidding. No, our boyfriends get laid. Don't worry. By each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yum. Anyway, um, no. So Taylor's Taylor's just you know living her best life, which I tried. I didn't even bring this up. I tried this week. I went to Will Neff's birthday party. You tried to get which laid. Which was at a club. No, mm, mm, mm. I tried to live my best life and get us a story. Okay. But I walked into that club. Cutie hates going and... to clubs. Cutie and I have been to a club together one time. No. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Where? The place that looks like Japan, but is probably cultural oh. appropriation. I wasn't there, number one, remember, because oh. you were texting me from the hotel. Oh, you're right. That, yeah. But, but even better, this is drama. Oh, my God. I forgot about this. Drama. Is, oh, I forgot. She forgot Oh, my again. God, I remember. Oh, she remembered? Okay. <laughs> I've been watching, this is, this is crazy. I've been watching um, Modern Family. It's, like, been my go-to. I've just been re-watching all of Modern Family. Because I remember I'd like seen episodes at one point and they're like funny and they're lighthearted and I need just funny, lighthearted background stuff because I am a documentary bitch, which means that I sit there and I watch these documentaries and then I get anxious or depressed and I'm like, okay, stop. No documentaries. Fair. We're going to throw on Modern Family because it's lighthearted. It's fun. Also, uh, and- so, so quickly, I'm interrupting you. I just made a crazy face. I feel like they're gonna be like, why? I, my ferret just like dug through his litter box, like with his nose. He like pushed through it like he's going through snow and it's like a litter box and there's, there's pee in it. And I, that was why I made that face. Continue. He loves it. Um, anyway, rewatching Modern Family. And, uh, I'm on like season eight now, by okay. the way, wow. like I have, I've Impressive. really gotten too deep. Yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, this is a crazy where this story is going and this is such a sidetrack. Um, are you going to talk about that? Are you going to talk about the kid from Modern Family? (laughs) So wait, so Maya and I, if you guys remember like a year ago, (laughs) we had an episode where Maya drags me to some f***ing Disney Channel original stars birthday party. In here, hold on a second. How did you get an invite? Admit, Relax. How if did... you got an invite to some ex Disney Channel stars house party, you're gonna go just because it's interesting. Okay, That's you're asking me interesting to admit that. No, I'm asking them to admit that so that they take my side. Obviously, I dragged you to that party. That's funny as hell. That it's gonna be an interesting time, and it was. So you're welcome. It was an interesting time. She was correct. However, I felt as though, and I'm not a big headed person. I would like to remind everyone, I hate myself as much as the hate watchers hate me. I don't think I am attractive. I don't think these things, but I will say, and I said this, you know, a year ago, the kid from Modern Family was giving me the, the eyes. And I was like, what the heck? (laughs) The way he would, he would deny this story. I know he would. So he'd be like, like, that girl is not my type. (laughs) She She is is so gross. Meanwhile, I'm like, he was giving me the eyes. He was, he was so so into me. He looked at me. And so clearly he was into me. No, no, (laughs) he, we made eye contact a few times and I thought maybe he wanted to initiate a conversation with me, but I have a boyfriend and I'm shy. So I would run away. Okay. So funny. And you that said, was have just... you said which which kid it was? Doesn't matter. You don't want to. No, I'm going to because where this story is going. Okay. It was it was the Nolan. Yeah. Nolan okay. Gold. The the funny one on the show. So I've been She's watching on the him? show. <laughs> oh my god, we're dating now. <laughs> I love you. Come don't back to me. <laughs> Come back to me. Can we please go to another party together, please? How a bunch of Twitch streamers ended at that party still makes no goddamn so funny. sense to me. It was so funny. I, it it's best still makes life. no sense. It wasn't. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so I'm watching this and I kind of like forgot about that moment until now I'm on season eight and he's like older. And I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
he's in like love with me. Like him and I were gonna hook up, you know? Yeah. Like we were, we were, we were gonna go get married. Like I remember now. I wonder if he remembers filming this before he knew me. <laughs> I wonder if he like, I wonder if he still thinks of me. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, you know, all those thoughts. And then I, I, I pull up, I was like, I wonder <laughs> me healthy. I'm like, I wonder what he's up to. Like, <laughs> I wonder if he's posted about like me, you know, ex, you didn't even just talk kidding. to him at the party, right? Did you have I a know. conversation? Even... <laughs> yeah. So I go to his Instagram just cause I'm, I'm curious. I'm like, genuinely, what is he up to? Yeah. Anyway, he might be more into you. He's like into like camping and outdoors and conservation and like, is he? he goes like, he, he hiked Mount Rainier. Like you could cool, cool, cool. Showing off a little bit. Um, and he's been like, I think he's been like living on the road. I don't know. I didn't read the captions because I got too busy scrolling down and seeing this picture that was taken that night. Oh my God. That's so funny. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, we were there. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. We were there. Isn't that so crazy? We were hiding in the like, corner. I'm just, I'm just sitting watching Modern Family. And then I think to myself, what is this guy up to? I go to his page and there's a picture from that night. What a time. They had a punch bowl. It was really scary. Yeah, they did have a punch, punch bowl. Punch bowls in and 2023 they had, like, two are not beer it. beer pong tables. Well, this was 2020. Okay, whatever year it was. It was actually. It was really? 2023. Yeah. But it was the guy... K K Karan, it was Karan's birthday, and he was so nice. It was not in 2023. It doesn't it, matter. The picture is January 18th, 2023. Oh, it wasn't 2023, though. Uh -uh, there's no way. Oh, no, we weren't there. Oh, my <laughs> God, we weren't <laughs> there. <laughs> we, we didn't get invited to the follow-up party. You're so no. delusional. Dude, you're so delusional. Oh, She's my like, God. I'm so famous. I was here. I was here. He misses me so much. He looked at me. I think it was like 2021, even. 2022. You're telling me he had another birthday party and we weren't invited? Because it's Karan's birthday, and that's the birthday we went to. Oh, my God. You're right. Oh, so it was like we a year before that. Yeah, so we went to 2022, and that means Karan had another birthday party in 2023, and we didn't get invited. Wow. That's f***ed up. Now I'm mad. Oh, my God. They, it, honestly, it was kind of f***ed up that we were there. It's not like anyone was, was mad that we were there, that we were there. but we I, don't know why, there. I don't know why I got invited to that. I don't know why they were like, bring whoever, because I showed up, and I walked up to that guy, and I was like, hey, thank you so much for having us. I know you don't know who any of these people are. We just got invited, but like, you're so nice for hosting. It was very weird. And it was his birthday. And I was like, happy birthday. Yeah. Like, why I were we there? Him, I said, happy birthday. I gave him a hug. I don't know why we were there. We weren't the problem. There were two, I will say, I won't say who, because this isn't a drama podcast anymore, but this was long enough ago. There were two mother Twitch streamers there that were like stealing shit. And I kept grabbing from them and telling them to put Dude. it back. And I was like, I have to leave this party. Like, you guys are too old to be stealing shit from a stranger. I forgot and, like, that happened. This guy is clearly in love with me. And so I got to get out of here before he, like, becomes obsessed. What am I going to do? And so I had to flee. I fleed the party. Wait. But yeah. Wait. Remember those two? Who, no. Type who they were. Because I remember that happening, but I don't remember who, who did that. But yeah, they were like taking stuff because they thought it was so funny to like steal from like And it was a... like not funny. Oh my god! You're so right. That was yep. not chill. Because they just thought it was, it was funny because he was like an ex-Disney star. And they were like, <laughs> like we're, we got this Disney sh or whatever. And it was like, what? And it was like logs of wood from his fireplace <laughs> and like a kitchen knife. Like it wasn't, for the record, it, they weren't like stealing like expensive things. They were just trying to do that thing that like sometimes you do in college, like at frat parties to be funny. But like we, we were too old. To be at this party anyway. Yeah. How did we get invited? Was it the Corys? Mm, I think so. I don't the remember. Corys probably. Invited. I don't know how like the mm. other Twitch streamers got invited, but yeah. I know we got invited because I think the Corys. But clearly, clearly we didn't leave a lasting impression because we didn't get invited to 2023's party and I just found out. I think he, j I mean, my hope is that he just wanted people there to hang out. It was just like the party, you know? He was just trying to have night. a big party. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. But what about the 2023 one? Well. <laughs> You're saying you didn't like us. No, he has no idea who we are. 
He has absolutely <laughs> no clue. And he will never see this, ever. <laughs> and either will... I don't even know the Modern Family kid's name. Either will he. His name is Nolan, and he loves me. Okay. He will not see that. I pray that he does not see this. I pray he does not see this. I pray he doesn't see this, because he'll see me, and he'll be like, oh my god, I love her. Oh my god. She's insane. <laughs> I miss her so much. And I'll be like, oh, sorry, got a boyfriend. I'm so taken. She's in love. I'm not. I have a boyfriend. I am in love with my boyfriend, though. I'm not. I have a boyfriend. Like... <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not in love. I'm not in love with Nolan. I'm in love with my boyfriend. You want to hear the sweetest thing Ludwig did this week? So sweet. Yes. Actually, two things. He, I have been in a uh, mental health spiral. It's been a bad week. It happens. Choo -choo. Remember, healing is a roller coaster, not a whatever the f mountain climb. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, so uh, Myung invites us to dinner. I freaking love Myung. I never realized how much I like her as a human until recently. <laughs> okay. I really like her. Okay, aggressive. It turns out we have a lot in common. Okay. Yeah, I have like cute aggression towards Myung. Yeah, okay. You want to eat her? <laughs> no, I want to eat her. <laughs> um, no, I really like Myung, and she invites us to dinner. We go to this dinner. It's really, it's really fun. We're sitting there. However, I am experienced period cramps out of my mind no, no i don't drink anymore oh. period cramps out of my mind and anxiety where i'm disassociating so i'm becoming a zombie but as we drive to the dinner place i see this ice cream place that i'd like heard a ton about and i say to ludwig i go oh i've always wanted to try the ice cream place so bad mm -hmm. and you know and that was the conversation so then we we go to dinner it's like korean barbecue we, we're eating yum 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 so full ice cream so good yum yum um and then Scoops. They actually bring us complimentary <laughs> ice cream at the end. Guys, look up Squeak's NPC stream. <laughs> Honestly, can we have a moment of silence? Editor, will you just insert his NPC stream for 30 seconds? Ice cream so good. Else. Moment yum, of silence. Yum, gang, yum. gang. This point. Koopas, Koopas. Oh, Kirby, watch out for his suck. Ice cream so good. Yum, yum. Gang, gang. What? Ice cream so good! Yum yum! Gang gang! Oh, I'm a toad! Is it a hat or a mushroom? <laughs> I hope it's been 30 seconds. Ice cream so good! Yum yum! <laughs> anyway, Squeaks is the best to have ever done it. Um, <sighs> so funny. So, so at the end, they bring us out complimentary ice cream. And so then I kind of give Ludwig the eyes, like, you know, it's free. We gotta eat the free one. We can't go get the one I mm -hmm. want. But whatever, I, we eat it, and um, and everyone's talking about how full they are. Everyone's, like, so full. And then Ludwig stands up in front of the whole group, and he's like, guys, hear me out. Do you guys want more ice cream? <laughs> like, this is unprompted. I did not ask him to do mm -hmm. this, right? He, this was just from the note that I had made driving past. Mm -hmm. And he's like, there's this ice cream place down the block. I've always wanted to try it. Like, do you guys want to go? And he, like, rallies the troops. We walk over. It's closed. But still, no! still it was... The sweetest thing ever, where it was just like, oh. That's really nice. And then, this is this is very lucky when you are a mental health struggling girly. Um, and I say this from a place where, like, I did not have a boyfriend before that would do stuff like this. So this is, like, genuinely something I'm really grateful for. Is I have um, my list. Here's a quick list, if you're ever wondering. And this is, like, actually diagnosed. I'm not just trying to flex. I've got generalized anxiety <coughs> Uh, crippling is what my therapist said. Crippling depression. Um, I have OCD. She said crippling? Have... Yeah. That's no, I was joking. Kinda, oh, I was like, that's kind of uh, messed up. No. <laughs> Generalized anxiety, depression, OCD, uh, uh, CPTSD, um, and uh, hypochondria. Because hypochondria is attached to OCD. OCD is attached to anxiety. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. those are kind of like that tree. Um uh, OCD is usually actually a coping mechanism. Uh, so I developed that, but anyway, I've had issues and I'm really, really, really trying. I just came from therapy. I'm really, really trying to work on them. And honestly, therapy might be, uh, why I'm a little more grounded at this very moment. If you saw me 20 minutes ago in the episode, I'm different than <laughs> I am now. And therapy might've helped with that. That's so good. that's okay. Um, anyway, uh, I, am in a hypochondria flare-up if you don't know what that is it's ocd in overdrive but convincing yourself that you are dying 
to the point that your rational brain, unfortunately, cannot convince your irrational brain that it's not true. And so you can read symptoms like, oh, uh, leprosy, you know, one of the symptoms is headache, and then you just will have headaches. And it's and that's just how your psyche does it. And your psyche likes to beat the shit out of you. And so right now I'm in a bit of a spiral. I'm not going to go too much into detail with it because I don't really like sharing this stuff at this moment right now. But uh, something with my OCD, um, uh, I have patterns that calm me down and I have like tokens that calm me down. And one of them is like my aura ring or it used to be an oximeter. I'd always, I'd have to have an oximeter on my finger in order to fall asleep if I was feeling anxious. But now this aura ring tracks my heart rate and oxygen and I cannot find the charger for the life of me because uh, to give, uh, oh my God, we didn't even talk about this. I went to Sequoia last week with my guy friends and I ended up coming home early because my anxiety was kicking my ass so much, which is really defeating and really sad. Uh, it makes you feel like an eight-year-old calling your parents to pick you up from a sleepover, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. But the anxiety one, whatever. And so I get home and I'm kind of just like in shambles and I can't find this thing. And Lud's like, hey, like go to bed. Like he finds me like pajamas and stuff. He's like, if you lay in bed, maybe it'll help you calm down. But I was like, I have to find the, the charger, you know? And I am like looking through this house kind of like like a lost old man just everywhere I can think of. And then eventually, because of the OCD, I know this might sound very minuscule, but OCD does this too. If the pattern is not met, it is very overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And so I start crying. Mm -hmm. And I, I know something bad is going to happen if I don't have this on, like, you know, I, irrationally, I know something. So, And I can't find it. I can't find it. I can't find it. Ludwig comes over to me and he takes his Fitbit off and he puts it on my wrist because it has an oximeter and a heart thing. And mm -hmm. he's like, you're going to be okay. You have this. Go lay in bed. You're okay. We'll order you a new charger, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And that was like, just like so, like, it was really sweet. It was very nice. <laughs> it was really nice. It was and it was thoughtful. just like, yeah, he's starting, he, he gets it. <clears throat> and it's, it was, it was nice. Cause then I did, I slept that night and that was enough. And the next day I got a charger for this. And so I was fine, but, but. Yeah, I got, I was, it was, it was a bit of a, it was a bit of, so those are not that we needed the Ludwig win of the week segment, but there it is. He had two wins where he was in so incredibly thoughtful and nice. Yeah. He's just such a nice boy. Lud, Lud is a very thoughtful guy. Um, I'm so lucky. I've listened to a couple podcasts this past week about hypochondria and about, yeah, and just about like why and about it being attached to OCD and trying to figure out how it works uh, so i can be more yeah, helpful yeah when i'm when i'm not in the swing of it i can talk about it more mm -hmm. like i can talk about it in an educational way when i'm not in the swing of it when i'm yeah. in the swing of it it, it can trigger me mm -hmm. um but someone else who suffers from it is uh, moist critical mm -hmm. um and so like last night i was messaging him like crazy just because you just having someone you can talk to that has the same brain as you in those flare-ups oh my god it's that's really nice. better than Oh my God, it's, it made me feel just, even just temporary peace is enough right now. And it, it made me feel great. But um, we are done with the episode and I didn't get a talk about Taylor, not Taylor Swift. I oh realized. my God, right. How did we so do that? So we're gonna, huh? I don't know how we did that. Well, when my brain's working, turns out we can get a lot done. <laughs> yeah, all right. Patreon will hear about Taylor's <sighs> crazy love life. And Taylor has the craziest dating story. And my new hobby that I'm very excited about. And she has a new hobby. And we'll be answering some of the questions from the Discord and we'll be reviewing the Patreon or, or uh, the Reddit. Sorry. Yeah. We'll be reviewing the Reddit. So uh, hop on over to the Patreon episode if you would like some more. We'll see you guys over there. Thank you. Goodbye. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Please. Bye. Bye.